I want to play F1 2024, but don't have the money for it right now. If you do have a set of cores then $5 though, let me show you how to set up the F1 2024 season mod. Uh, give me about 10 minutes of your time and I'll explain how exactly to do that. So if everything looks 100%, it should look exactly as you see it here. Um, the page shows all of the drivers from last year all lined up with AI level. I'm gonna keep it where it is because I'm not the best racer, let's be real. Um, you have 24 races, there were 24 races in 2024, and I'm gonna go through all of them. Practice qualifying the race. Let's go have some fun. Um, but I want you to be able to play along with me if you want. Uh, tell me exactly how it's going. But first, in order to do that, we need to give it a shot. So, okay, magic presto, here we are within the web browser. So, as I said, we're going to be playing F1 World Championship 2024. Um, you don't have to drive as George Russell if you don't want to, and I'll show you how exactly to change that near the end. I'm going to leave chapters so you can just skip through anything that you don't want to listen to. But... Um, yeah, it features 10 lap races that you can change if you have a little bit of know-how. Um, their strengths are based on their rankings. There's all 24 rounds with the skins and layouts. Not 100% accurate track skins. Some of them I found were from the last few years, but this is amazing for $5 and a lot of free work. So. They, uh, as you might have seen on the other side, there's descriptions and track histories. Uh, all the drivers and even some of the change-up drivers from last season are included, funny enough. Times, varied weather, and the time multiplier. Very curious to give that a shot. You can see the teams. Just a quick sec. You can see the teams. The rounds, 24 rounds of F1. I'm getting excited. I can't wait to try that, uh, especially as I'll we'll have more of a F1 style wheel coming soon. Just a few screenshots, absolutely beautiful stuff. So there are some things that you need to get started. Content Manager, if you're playing a set of Corza and you don't have Content Manager installed, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, custom Shader Patch, which is built into Content Manager. Soul 2.2 and the DLCs that are here, which makes sense because it needs to run off the uh, F1 cars. Now I say that, but there's also the not free part of this where it costs $5 and that's buying the uh, VRC car. And I'll explain that in a second, but let's do this in order. Let's walk through it. Basically step one, you need to download and install these required plugins, go to each of the links, download everything, drag and drop them or like appropriately put them in the set of course of folders. In order to play this, you are going to need to purchase, as I was saying, the Formula RSS hybrid car. Um, again, it's only four pounds, or five pounds, sorry, at the time of purchase. Uh, so it's really not that much, you know, like five or $10, depending on where you are in the world, to uh, basically have F1 2024 for very little cost. I get that there's not careers and all the special things that come with that game, but unfortunately for me, this is how I'm going to be experiencing it because F1 2024 doesn't work very well or at all in VR, uh, trying the EA Pass. Um, EA Play, uh, Game Pass thing, for lack of a better word. Either way, it didn't work for me. I'm not gonna spend my full money on a game that didn't work in one mode. Uh, as you know, I usually play in VR. Um, so then step three, and you know, make sure that you're doing this all in order as we go. I'm not going to click on all of the links and download everything because I've already done that work. Um, but you know, you wanna go to each of these links, download everything, drag and drop them into content manager and install them. 
very simple stuff. Same with this. Now, if you play in uh, low fuel motorsport, you might have some of these, but do download them. Uh, download the versions that they have here and update them. Unfortunately, that might overwrite some of them that are in a current series that you're in, but it's uh, what you gotta do if you wanna make this work without fail. Um, so yeah, and when it says link inside download, what it means is at the top here, um, when you sign up for overtake, and by the way, I will leave, <clears throat> my voice is a little hoarse, I will leave in the description the download link so that you can um, come here, do this, and you know, read and down. But yeah, I just wanna make sure that you have that and you don't go Google searching for it. So you gotta download the maps. When you uh, download that download, the link for these maps will be there as they're available either on different sites or drive links. Again, be careful with what you download. Um, as always, you know, use due diligence, but I've downloaded all of these and they're safe. My computer hasn't stopped working, so uh, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be safe wherever you are. Just follow them and don't go to any other weird sites. Uh, step five is the F1 track layouts, and some of them have skins. So make sure that you download and install the tracks first, then drag and drop them into content manager these track layouts that way everything will work properly step six download and install the tire pack and then step seven place the contents of the champs folder within the download into this directory so your Assetto corza directory and where it says champs so that's in your documents folder, not the Steam apps area for where that is. And again, this information is part of the download folder that when you click this, when you're signed up and logged into Overtake, uh, it'll be in there. Doop, 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 down we go. Cool, so those are the steps. Um, there's a few tips at the bottom uh, where in the area you can do a little slider for the ai to make them stronger or weaker i'm going to leave it where it is and adjust on the fly depending on how things are because you know i want a good i want a good race where it's challenging for me but not so challenging and it you know has a good replay value and that i have fun and you have fun watching it <laughs> uh so want to change your main car um in just a second i will take you there i just want to read anything else that might be here just that there's some notes you should read over these too there's a known issue read over that and there's some ui extras uh if you play with a gamepad <laughs> that might be worth looking into um i have installed some of these except for they did require sim hub um, but i'm not going to go over those uh, not unless you know people want them really doesn't matter it's just extra eye candy for your replays uh, since i race in vr i don't have any sort of hud so it's just what's on the wheel in front of me um but, -do 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 -do. but right this is the one that i wanted to show you so if you just give me one moment i'm gonna flip back to uh, content manager so i'm back um, in order to switch it up so that you are driving as the driver that you want to be uh, what you need to do is go to the content user championships and if you did everything correctly there will be no errors or red marks here um oh, i'm sorry let me close out of that so yeah you click in here and what you do is hit the plus this little button over here is what i meant to say in the corner it'll say detailed settings and what you want to do is select the driver that you want to be and then find 
um, that driver and essentially X them out here. So since I'm going to be driving as Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari, um, I found Carlos Sainz in here and I basically replaced him with uh, George Russell because George Russell is who's on the front of the uh, championship here. So I went and I found him in this drop down. His name's there. You, the nationality is still a Spain, but I'm I finally finally found Great Britain in the nationality. All right, so I switched him out. Uh, I played around with his strength, and I just minimized that. Just close and go back to drive start and in here basically. And here, basically, you'll want to scroll through this and select your driver that you're going to be for the championship. Again, you can change the AI level here. These will turn to color when you've gone through the race. And then basically, when you're ready, just hit go. And I'll see you at Bahrain.